Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are asking the question, I cannot get enough of them, what shall I do? Okay, so this is about a situation where you're thinking about this person the entire time. You might have uh, gone on a date with them already, or you might not have. You might have been in a relationship with them, uh, or uh, which has ended, or you might even be in a relationship with them and you just don't feel that there's enough communication or you just can't get enough of this person. So what shall you do? What is your advice in this situation? Okay, and we have three decks here of tarot cards and it's deck one, two or three. So uh, please make a choice and go down to the description box in which you will find the timestamp and then you can go directly to your reading. And I shall begin. So here we are asking the question, what shall I do? I cannot get enough of them. I cannot get enough of her or I cannot get enough of him. And what shall I do about this? What is my advice? What shall I do about it? So here we are and this is the option number one and the question we are asking here is what shall I do about the situation where I cannot get enough of this person? Okay, so here I see a situation where you've been heartbroken and you just can't get enough of this. You can't get rid of these feelings. You're not able to move beyond this. You're feeling so distraught and so heartbroken by this person. It's such a difficult, it's so difficult for you to bear this. Um, the question was that what should I do? And the answer to this question here is do whatever you wish to do um, because it's going to fulfill your wish, okay? Do whatever it is that you'd like to do. And we, we acknowledge, what, the, what they're saying is that we, are, we acknowledge your pain. We acknowledge the way you're feeling. We acknowledge, we acknowledge the, the heartbreak that you've had and, and how deep this has gone and how this has struck you at your core in a way that you were not expecting it to and how this has um, led to a degree of instability in yourself. But do what it is that you want to do, because when you've chosen to make to do what it is that you want to do, your wish will be fulfilled, okay? So it's um, they're not showing me what the wish is um, that will be fulfilled, but I feel that one of the things that you really need to do here is actually uh, talk about the situation you need to actually talk about the situation and actually uh, bring to light the way you feel. Yeah, it's it's important for you to say what it is that you what it is that you feel. Express how it is that you feel. Go to them. Talk to them about this. Show them what it is that you're feeling and how and and what and how this has impacted you. Um, because I feel that this is going to bring about a degree of justice in your situation. You need to have your say in the situation and that's what's going to help you. All right, so if, if, if you're in a situation where you're not actually heartbroken, this person hasn't done anything to break your heart, but in fact what it is is that you're just thinking about this person and you can't get enough of them and it's 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 aching for you, you know, you're just, um, it's just very hard for you to, to deal with this, then I think go ahead and make your wishes come true. Go ahead and make your dreams come true. Go ahead and speak to them and they will be fair to you. And they will actually hear you out and they will be kind to you. Uh, you know, they'll be fair to you. The situation will be handled in a just manner. All right. So, and also uh, the other uh, advice here is be fair to yourself. Acknowledge the pain that you're, that you're feeling right now and actually just take action with regard to that. 
do what it is that you need to do to be able to fill up your tanks, yeah, your love tanks. Um, do what it is that you need to do to ensure that your emotions are being acknowledged and fulfilled. And the, the outcome will be fair. The outcome will be fair and it will be just. And this person will hear you out and will consider you. I want to also say that uh, it's. I hear this really clearly in this situation. You really need to speak to them and you need to speak your mind here. You need to tell them what it is that you've been feeling or what it is that you want from the situation because you actually don't know what it is uh, that they want in this situation. Okay, it's not really clear. Um, I just want to ask another question. I'm just drawn to ask another question in your situation. What is it that the querent needs to know with regard to this situation? Okay, is that it? Okay, so I feel that this is a situation where um, where you may feel that somebody has done you wrong, where you may feel that you have been treated unjustly, and where you feel that um, yeah, it's it's as if you're almost expecting to be treated uh, poorly or that this person may mock you or laugh at you and walk away from you if you express yourself. It's as if you, you're expecting that because you are so, uh, because this, you're in this situation where you're feeling this kind of hurt right now, um, you're expecting this person to treat you with disdain almost, okay? And I want to say that's not actually going to be the case. Uh, because what they show me is that it you they show me that they acknowledge your your feelings they show me that they're hearing you what you have to say about uh, about the situation and that they are fair towards you and this is actually your fear this is your fear because maybe they've behaved like this in the past or maybe you expect them to behave like this towards you uh, simply because you don't expect them to be uh, generous towards you in terms of their emotions but I think that you actually have uh, a good chance of actually having your your wishes fulfilled in the situation in a just and fair manner and um, yeah I just want to get another clarification for this card for you okay uh, just so that we are clear I'm just gonna put this here Okay, so here we have the, um, okay, we have the King of Cups, uh, I mean, sorry, the King of Swords. Why am I thinking Cups? So, um, but it was reversed, all right. So this person, the reason that you're feeling this way or you're expecting them to behave in this particular way is that this person is somebody who's is quite cold and is not always able to express themselves. They kind of blocked in terms of their emotions, they're not really able to, they they feel things, but they don't know what it is that they feel. They, they feel things, but they don't have the words to articulate it. They are not in touch really with their, with their, um, with their emotions. And sometimes they find themselves behaving in a strange way. Uh, and you may experience it as this, you may experience it as them having won in a situation, as them having put their ego forth and that not actually heard you with your emotions here. Because you this you are soft and you have this love for them, and they are hard and business like and almost cold and detached, and uh, you experience them as this, all right. But here um, and so they they are somebody who's not able to really communicate very clearly uh, about the emotions. And they they also can be um, well they're not necessarily good personality. Yeah, they they have a side to them which I think you've encountered already, or you might have an inkling about which. Um, it concerns you about connecting with them, uh, about getting in touch with them. However, I, I still want to, I'm going to stick to this, okay, because as, as much as I see all of these things around this person, I'm not going to advise you to step away from them. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to advise you to go forth and express your, your feelings to them because I see that you will be received very well. I see that you will have you will be received in a just and fair manner and you're, you will have a chance to have your wish fulfilled on some level. So what it is that be careful for of what you wish for, as they say, because I think that um, 
in this scenario, you may have your wish fulfilled. And um, but be be aware of the type of person that this this person is. I mean, I think you have an idea already, as I said. Um, but don't expect. I mean, I don't. This reading is telling you that this is the outcome. Okay, that the outcome is going to be a fair and just outcome. But um, expect that he is. He just not expect it, but because uh, expecting it will put it, bring it into a reality. But rather, um, be aware of the fact that he has the side to him. All right, people who have the side to them are not just mean people because of because they mean. They are people who have had uh, pain and difficulty in their lives, and they haven't had the emotional uh, tools. Uh, well-being to be able to overcome the pain and the, and the difficulty that they've had in their life and so they've developed a very hard exterior this could be um, in terms of star signs uh, I know some of you have been asking me in the comment section for star signs I don't really like to do that because it's um, it can be it's too specific and I want to read generally for for the public but um, if you are looking for for star signs and this could be a blocked water sign like a blocked Cancerian or a blocked Scorpio uh, or a blocked Pisces um, or yeah it could be it could be one of those it could also be like uh, yeah I don't see this as an Aquarius or a Libra yeah I don't see that I don't see that they're an air sign in Gemini there could be a Gemini actually, a blocked Gemini who's needing to deal with emotions and come to terms with uh, with uh, these emotions. Yeah. If you're wondering why I, I, I caress my cards <laughs> and I always are uh, moving them, touching them, is I'm channeling while I talk to you, you know, and I'm giving you messages from the ether. I'm not just reading cards here. So, um, yeah, I know that some of you have been irritated by the way in which I read and how I speak. Uh, but, you know, this is my way of reading. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so just be aware of that with regard to this person. I think that uh, your advice as the question was, yeah, what I can't get enough of this person. What shall I do? Do what you wish for, watch what you wish to do, and the outcome will be just. All right. But be aware, um, don't don't allow this to cloud your, your mind and to stop you from doing what you want to do. And be aware of the fact that they may behave in that way. Okay, so don't expect them to, don't be, don't be uh, thinking that you're going to go in there and they're going to treat you in this particular way because this is how they are and that you're going to leave the situation feeling defeated. Uh, don't, don't go in with that, those feelings. And I know that's how you feel already. You know, in some instances, I feel this is somebody who has really strong feelings for somebody, but they have been rejected already and they're still thinking about that person and they just don't, you know, they just can't get over that person. So they are, they're coming to this reading to find out like, what should you do now? You know, like, it's almost like, it's almost a question like, how shall I get over them or how shall I get closure? And, uh, but I will do another reading uh, with that question. How shall I get closure? Okay, so uh, I'm just moving on from this one now, and um, I'm going to move on to the next deck, which I believe was this one. So those of you who've chosen this one here, we're asking the question, I can't get enough of them, what shall I do? Okay, I just need a moment to kind of clear myself from that other energy. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, I can't get enough of them. What shall I do about this?
Okay, so in this instance, I think that what you should do is um, plan. Okay, you should think about what it is that you want to do with regard to them and how it is that you actually want to move forth. And then you should go ahead with that. But you should carefully consider it and carefully, uh, yeah, you need, to, you need to think about it in a, almost like a business-like way, you know, as if you were dealing with a project. Set out and lay out the steps. How will you go about approaching this person? Put, put down your end goal and uh, trace your steps to that end goal. And this is, I feel that you need to, you know, set out your path for how you're going to get there and then embark upon that path. All right. So if it is that you want to connect, connect with them, think about how it is that you're going to connect with them. Think about their personality. Think about what it is that they will appreciate from you and what it is that they won't appreciate from you. Think about how you will resolve, perhaps uh, if there are past issues, think about how you'll resolve that. If this is somebody you've, you've, uh, you know, you've just met or you've, you've known, but you haven't really uh, had a, an encounter with, uh, just think about how you all go about putting them in your way or how you uh, come about in their way so that you can you know kind of bump into them or meet them or uh just do something find yourself in the same the same space with them and uh think about that and then put it into action okay is the advice that you've been given here and i believe that this is going to take some work this is going to take a bit of uh, thought it's going to take a bit of work it's going to take a bit of uh uh diligence from you i also think that in this situation that this, uh, yeah, that you might want to, if you decide that you want to make them something, or if you decide you want to impress them, impress them with a with a paper that you're writing or a craft that you create, something that you're creating, a piece of jewelry or a piece of uh, you know wood sculpture or a, if you're creating something, right? Whether you know whatever it is, it could be a poem or it could be anything at all, okay? And you want to, uh, if yeah, you want just. If you're creating something, put all your love and all your diligence into this and and then and then proceed. OK, so what I see, it's almost as if you've decided like here you're making the decision to actually uh, here you're making the one second. All right. So here you're making the decision to actually do something. And then w when you made that decision, like, you know, how you're going to go about getting there, you pl apply your mind to it. You are treating it with diligence, you're moving ahead with it, with diligence, with um, a dedication and with commitment, and you're actually setting about to achieving a goal, and you're not going to stop until you've completed this goal to perfection, okay? So what is the outcome of this situation? Well, it's uh, the four of wands, and I just want to uh, view it, I just want to, I want to read it from, about, from this card here. What I'm seeing is that, uh, when you've done this, right, um, when you've done this, uh, I think that you would have, you would fly, you'll be flying forth with your action plan, you know, so you're taking a moment to plan, you ta you're taking a moment to work on it, and then you're flying forth with your action plan, so that is what you need to do, for those of you who can't get enough of this person, you need to plan, you need to work on your plan, and then you need to fly forth and make, and create the action, and I feel that this is going gonna, gonna to be like some kind of um, I almost want to say fireworks. It's not fireworks, though. It's almost it's going to shake the ground. Yeah, it's going to make things happen. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be something that will change things. the The original the usual reading or uh, the re usual meaning of this card in the um, in the tarot is is that of creating something uh, like a home or uh, some you know moving in together. It could also mean marriage. And but I'm not reading that in this um, card at all. I don't see that. What I see is that this work and this diligence and this uh, uh, kind of commitment that you've made to move forth and interact with this person is going to come to a fruition in a very fiery manner, in a manner that brings things out. It shakes the ground. It makes things come to fruition. It's almost as if something is shooting forth from the ground. And it's not like lava or something like this, but it's like something... Um, emanates from within, from within the earth, and comes into being, and and this is like like the way in which um, a volcano is born, perhaps not with the way in which uh, uh, lava is emitted from a volcano, 
but rather the way in which a volcano is born. It's just, uh, there's something quite powerful about this energy and about how it's it's transmitted and about how it goes, how it comes into being uh, at the end of this. So your advice, uh, what shall you do? Well, channel your energy and channel this passion that you have for this person. D uh, you know, discipline your mind to be able to move ahead and actually create something and and. and uh, and decide upon what you want, you know, and then go about creating it and making it a reality. And this reality will be one which will give you a cause to celebrate. So um, that is your reading for those of you who've chosen this deck here. And uh, I hope this has helped and I hope that you actually have what you wish for with this person. So moving on to the last one, which is uh, this one here. And the question we're asking is... Just a second, I just want to clear my energy from the last one again. Okay, so the question we're asking here is, I cannot get enough of this person, what shall I do? I cannot get enough of them, what shall I do with it? Yeah, what shall I do? Okay, so please give us the advice. What do we need to know in this situation? Okay, so in this situation, there is a sense that you want to go forth and you want to um, give a message to this person, right? It's like you're yearning to give a message to this person and you really, well, there's a, some, a message that you have to give to this person, but you're too afraid to do it. You're too afraid to actually take the action. It's almost as if you have such a surge of energy that sometimes you want to call this person and uh, and just blurt out what you need to say. And, and then the, the words come out all jumbled up and you just, or you become so anxiety ridden at the moment that you're calling this person or wanting to text them something that you end up not doing it. So there's not a message that can come out from you that is a grounded and uh, a clear message, a pragmatic message, a practical message where you can just come out and say, hey, listen, uh, how about we go on a date or how about we have a coffee together? Or how about we um, just go for a walk in the park or in the forest? You, this is not something that you're able to do because you get so kind of um, jumbled up in yourself. Yeah, you get so kind of caught up in yourself that you're not able to come across, across more clearly to this person. And uh, so this is, they're showing me this about you. What they're also showing me is that you actually, there's this love that you have for this person. And it's almost like a, um, a kind of real deep, deep love. But at the same time, it feels like something more than it is. It feels like, like some of you who believe in twin flames and all that stuff will, will think, oh, well, you know, um, this is a twin flame situation. But in fact, what they're saying to me, it's not. It's not a twin flame situation. It's like more of a case of t false twin flames, okay? Um, and that it's all these kind of uh, uh, ingredients of what a twin flame relationship is, but it actually isn't, right? What I see, when I feel, when I'm feeling right with regard to this person is that they are aware of you and, but they are not, uh, they're not really as much into you as you are into them. Like you are really crazy about this person. It's like you can't keep your hat on, you know, you're just um, very much into this person and they actually are like aware of you um, and they, you surprise them. It's almost like you surprise them every time you call them or you try to text them or something. They just not. Um, they just don't know what to make of you. Okay, uh, and this is not to make you feel bad or anything. It's just because you have this kind of passion in you that is uh, the, that you're not able to actually put across your messages in an articulate manner. And uh, I have this as well at times. <laughs> and so it, it comes across as being uh, a bit strange or a bit... Like, he doesn't know what to make of you, okay? So, 
I feel that uh, like an attempt that you might make to share your feelings or tell them how you feel would be like you are just spewing forth your feelings and you're not it's, it's not like like you're wearing your heart on your sleeve and it's going to uh, work against you because this person is not ready to actually hear what it is that you want to say to them uh, so I at the same time I can't see that you can hold this you can put a lid on this any longer it's like it's gonna fly the lid's gonna fly off and it's gonna shoot forth like the feelings gonna shoot forth like a geyser like a, a geyser or a geyser um, that just you know springs forth from a desert um, and so there's these feelings. I feel that ultimately, though, what what's going to happen is that you're going to be fantasizing about this person. You're going to be thinking about this person. You're going to be wondering how you can go about attracting their attention and letting them know how you truly feel. But I don't feel that... I'm sorry to tell you this. Um, I just don't feel that this person can reciprocate the feelings, your feelings, in the way... Yeah, they, they cannot love you in the same way that you love them they cannot i feel also here that this is more of an infatuation um that you have it's more like limerence you know it's like this feeling that you have it's almost a sense that um this love gives you an exhilaration it gives you a sense of being on a high and so this is why you are so you know, uh, you can't control yourself when you are, when you're wanting to contact him or, or her or, or just get in touch. You just don't know how to like rein yourself in and, and be able to come across in a more logical manner. You're just not able to do that because you have, you're, it's almost like when you want to contact this person, it's like you are, oh, you want to do something with regard to this person. You want to maybe go somewhere where you think this person is, or you want to uh, find, you know, you just want to create an opportunity for you two to be together. What happens is that you 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 get just beyond you get uh, beyond yourself you can't you can't control yourself you can't manage yourself and it's just it becomes like a big mess you know um like you can't manage you can't like walk around them in a way that you know you you're confident or something like that you just you just fall to pieces around them and i feel that you don't have an opportunity that much to walk around them or to be around them but it's it's more like when you want to connect with them or you when you're thinking about how you could should go about connecting with them that you get really beside yourself and so you're not able to to go forth and um and communicate with them that clearly now the other thing i want to say here is that uh, there is love though there is this feeling of love but it's not as you think it is okay uh, I think this person finds you interesting uh, they don't know what to make of you and they but they don't have like kind of they care about you okay they care about you uh, they're not that close to you they but they care about you from a distance or they think about you fondly at times and they think about you in a like as an interesting person or somebody who's um, sort of like different from other people and in a good way you know and in a way that he he or she finds intriguing but i feel that the outcome of the situation is that you're going to be still dreaming about how you could go about being with them and how you can go about uh accessing their attention how you can go about drawing their attention to you and what i want you to realize is that they are already aware of you and if they wanted to move this in any given direction they would have done this already um, they, they, they don't want to, and not yet anyway, or I don't see that in this reading, uh, perhaps in, in a, in a while down the line, they may want to, um, but right now they care about you. They're aware of you and they would like, yeah, they, they just like kind of curious about you and wondering what you're going to do next. I feel also that this, um, yeah, I feel like you'll be, be wondering about them for a lot longer though. And, um, I'm just I just think that this person is not actually available you know or maybe they see you as being really young they it could be that they see you as being like too young for them or they see you as being too inexperienced for them or as being just not in their league yeah maybe not the last one but but maybe some people see it in that way um and they just don't see how you and them could ever be doing something I want to say this feels like a professor student relationship to me um yeah it feels like that feels like that like somebody who's you know who's learning and young and kind of 
fantasizing about their teacher and feeling as if they're in love with them. It could also be another kind of professional relationship that you are in. And um, yeah, it just it, that it's like there's an imbalance in the power here and you get all excited and butterflies in your stomach when you see them and you just don't know how to go about saying to them what you feel and they don't they're aware of, of these feelings that you have or they can you, they can get that on some level that you have that for them but they 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 don't share that unfortunately and uh so the question is what must you do right so the advice was what must you do and the the thing that i am the, the what they're saying that you should do here is to fantasize about them is to continue dreaming about them because you know you dreaming about them is not just about them it's actually got nothing to do with them it has more to do with uh, uh, some satisfaction that you gained from it you know you're fantasizing dreaming about this person it has a lot to do with a payoff that you receive for doing that it's a space it's a space for you where you can escape to uh it's a space for you where you in your in your dreams in your fantasies where you can go to and have all your wishes fulfilled and right now perhaps in other areas of your life perhaps you have stress or perhaps you have difficulties or perhaps you've had rejection in the past and this is a safe space for you to explore a relationship in your head in your mind and um and this has much less to do with that person and it has much more to do with you. So well, what the, the, the Spirit's saying is that do do that, you know. If you need to do that, do it. Because it's it's giving you something right now which you're not getting otherwise. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I guess that it's not exactly what you were expecting. And um, I, I know, you know, one doesn't... Um, in, in our society, one doesn't really suggest or encourage um, fantasy or or dreaming about a person or extending that limerence and, and just uh you know the 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 value of infatuation is is not really understood and um it but as i was saying in this reading is that it there is a function to it and there is a reason that you need to do this right now there is a reason that this person is serving that role in your life and um and this is, yeah, if you, the advice is for you to actually uh, keep, maintain the status quo in this particular instance. So yes, I hope that this has been helpful to you. And I'd like to thank you all who've come to uh, this reading and watched this reading. And um, all of you who have subscribed, uh, thank you so much. And um, I wish you very well and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.